Blog Talk Radio. Hi everyone, welcome to Mom's Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. Hi everyone, um, I hope you enjoy the show, and if you decide to call in, I will be opening up the mic to talk to you in just a few minutes. So feel free to join in when you're ready with your introduction and questions or thoughts. Uh, the live call-in number is 646-595-4516. And uh, if you haven't heard any of my shows before, thanks for joining in. If this is your first time, I'll introduce myself to you. Um, I'm Patty, owner of LittleBitesNews.com and GiftPartySuppliesAndMore.com, as well as the work at home business directory at wahbusinessdirectory.com where we offer shopping, child development, parenting resources, and advertising, including party supplies, gift ideas, and more. So I have a wide variety of, of uh, resources to offer you. I'm a former elementary teacher turned stay-at-home mom and work-at-home mom, and I'm a mother of two boys. I also wanted to remind everybody uh, that this is today, actually, is the last day to get your Santa letters through uh, littlebitesnews.com or giftspartysuppliesandmore.com. So make sure you go to the holidays and events link from giftspartysuppliesandmore.com to order them. And also, if you're a work-at-home mom, you can talk about what it's like for you, how you became a work-at-home mom, what type of work you do, what the challenges are for you as a work-at-home mom. If you're a stay-at-home mom, share your experiences, what that's like for you. If you work outside the home, you're welcome to join the conversation as well to talk about your struggles and triumphs. New moms, expecting moms, and even grandmas are all welcome here. I'm seeking moms of all ages and experiences to share parenting conversations and exchange ideas and take a mama's time out break. So hopefully I'll hear from you and we'll get a chance to talk. Uh, I also wanted to let you know about more parenting resources to check out before I open up the phone line. Okay. I almost thought my introduction music was still playing. Uh, So anyway... I wanted to let you know about some other parenting resources to check out and remind you of uh, you're also able to order Santa videos or live phone calls from Santa for your kids when you visit our site at giftpartysuppliesandmore.com. You can click the holidays and events link for that. Uh, If you um, haven't had a chance, make sure you check out the new Kids Safe Internet browser. Check out the link to that and the video to it from the Mama's Timeout social network under videos. You can find the link to that under the links um, area here to the right of your screen down towards the bottom. Also you can um, download a free KidSafe uh, internet browser. Well, this this is the same one I'm talking about Um, because as you may be aware, there's an increase of online pornography which has been making the national news and you know abductions and other things that endanger our children worldwide with the internet access being available 24/7 to our children and not you know all parents aren't able to be there all the time watching them reports show that the porn sites have grown from 14 million to over 400 million in uh, the last 5 years so this leaves these families of children and teens feeling very uncertain you know, about allowing their children and grandchildren access to the internet. So I would like to introduce you and your family to a simple, easy internet solution which will provide fun, safe tools to protect your children and grandchildren as they surf the internet in a friendly, themed, child-themed environment. I'll add a link to it later, but you can go to our social network link and watch the videos to learn more about about it, about the browser I'm talking about. Um, the Kids Safe Secure Chat is also available. If you visit littlebites.kidsafeland.com, um, you can get access to that, which is free for uh, families and child- with young children. Parents have full control of 
what their child is doing and uh, who they're chatting with. So I think it's a great idea and it's great to see these alternatives coming out for uh, parents. Parents can monitor all the activity, the chats are logged. You can monitor um, people in the, in the office, monitor what their activity is also. So it's pretty safe and they call it Kids Safe Land. So make sure you go to littlebites.kidssafeland.com to check that out. And let's see what else I wanted to talk to you about before I open up the phone line. Oh, more shopping resources. Uh, you can get your own shopping mall and start earning money back for all your purchases. So make sure you click the link to get your own mall at Mama's Timeout under the links right here to the right. You can get travel vouchers and rebates are also available for purchases that you make over $50 and up. So this is great for people who have um, Christmas shopping to finish and uh, you know, gift, you know, anytime you need to shop for just about anything, check it out. There's thousands of stores available that are participating in this program and you have your access to your own mall. So you can't lose it. I mean, it's totally free. It's not a scam. It's not an MLM. It's not an affiliate program. It's just a way to offer, uh, another way to offer money-saving ways for uh, shoppers online to, to increase... Uh, shopping online production. So those of you who don't like to go to the malls and do their shopping, this is you know even more ideal. Um, some, uh, let's see, I think I covered just about all of the stuff I pretty much wanted to talk about there. I'm not going to be uh, talking too much about the uh, Wonder Boys book today because I <laughs> didn't get much of a chance to read it this past week. My sons have both been sick. So um, my husband and I are next, so we're both on the way to getting sick as well, unfortunately. So hopefully we'll all be better before Christmas. And uh, let's see what else did I want to talk to you about. Uh, okay, uh, I just wanted to mention again that... Uh, the call-in number is 646-595-4516. And uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit, I guess, about ho our holiday plans and preparations. And uh, you know, feel free to talk about that and how stressful it is for you and how it's going for you. Uh, we don't have you know, any real big out-of-town trip to make. Uh, we're going to see my family, which is only about an hour and a half away, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'll be going there for Christmas Eve and uh, doing a dinner with them there and then going to the Christmas Eve Mass. And uh, then we're starting, trying to start our own family traditions by having Christmas morning at home and opening our presents, listening to Christmas music, uh, we're also going to try to spend Christmas Eve day watching uh, Christmas movies and to get us, you know, in the spirit of things more. And the next weekend, hopefully, when everybody's feeling better, we'll get a chance to uh, go look at the holiday lights around uh, around town. There's an area where they have holiday lights in the neighborhood decorate with Disney characters, and they call it Disney Lane. So we're looking forward to seeing that and hopefully taking the kids to see Santa again, which would be their third time. Um, my my oldest, who's three and a half, he's kind of afraid of Santa. So I guess you can't blame him. I was too as a child. My dad always reminds me of a story when I walked up to Santa Claus in the mall and when it was my turn to see him next and he was giving out candy canes and and you know when you got to sit on his lap, he would give you one on your way out. Well, I just ran up and grabbed the candy cane and took off running <laughs> instead of sitting on Santa's lap and telling him what I wanted for Christmas. So I guess it can be a little intimidating for the young ones to sit on a stranger's lap and especially some big guy with a big beard and white hair and you know somebody you've never really 
talked to or seen before. And even though kids get so excited about having them come to see them for Christmas, I guess the whole idea of having a stranger coming in their home might scare some younger children as well. So probably good to kind of explain to them, you know, that he's he's our friend and Santa's not going to hurt us and that Mommy and Daddy are always going to be right there. I mean, when you take them to see Santa, you're right there. When you're home, you're, you're home, and they should feel safe in their home and know that they're safe for the most part. And uh, let's see, uh, also what we need, I need to do this week is uh, finish my Christmas cards. I uh, need to get that done probably today. And then uh, I guess what we've done is in the past few years is done family pictures, and now we have our, our youngest, our new baby, to add to the picture. So I think everybody will be excited to see those pictures. And then, of course, Christmas cookie making, which is on the schedule for this week. And let's see, you can hear my son out there playing, kind of getting a little a little loud today. It's been a little bit ornery, being sick and stuck in the house. is kind of not that fun for him. So let me um, go ahead and open up the chat board. I kind of forgot to do that today. So I'll go ahead and do that. If there's anybody who wants to just log in and chat, I'll open that up so that that's available. And then uh, go ahead and continue talking to you about some of the stress that goes along with preparing for the holidays. And the holidays can be quite stressful. Oh, I see. Hi, Pam. You're you're back. <laughs> nice to see you here. How are your holiday plans going? Uh, ours have been uh, kind of stressful. I, I still need to buy presents for my, my husband. Pretty much have my sons covered. And... Uh, our family, but my husband, I'm still kind of at a loss what to get him. He's always so hard to shop for. Have you finished your shopping? Do you have any uh, ideas or suggestions for the show or thoughts that you would like to share or Anything on your mind today? Remember, if you're a work-at-home mom, you can talk about what, what it's like for you, how you became a work-at-home mom, what type of work you do, what your challenges are, your frustrations. If you're a stay-at-home mom, talk about your experiences. If you work outside the home, talk about uh, your struggles and triumphs. So any, you know, moms of all ages and experiences are welcome to share their conversations and exchange ideas and just kind of take some time talking about life in general and how things are going. This is Mama's Time Out, where you can call in and uh, kind of take a 30-minute de-stress time for yourself and or listen in to, do, you know, have some de-stress time and Hopefully, we'll get some conversations going where we can, you know, share some advice, too. So, again, the live call-in number is 646-595-4516. And let's see. Don't believe I have any callers on the air yet. So I'll go ahead and uh, see if the chat works. It's so hard to keep all these windows open at the same time while you're trying to to uh, do this show. There's some of the challenges with uh, using the internet and this uh, mode of communication, but I guess it's still manageable.
Let's type if I can get Pam here again. Um, so anyway, with uh, the, the objective of the show, again, is to listen or talk live or chat live in our chat room during the show. Or if you just don't have the time for either, you can tune in later when you have time to listen. Um, feel free to try any of our daily trivia games. You can see the link under the link or click below on our page here at Blog Talk Radio um, for the Mama's Time Out Trivia. I haven't actually played yet, and it doesn't look like we had any players yesterday either. Uh, you could have some fun right now and just go ahead and click on that and give it a try. It's a good way to relax and get your brain thinking and uh, something to enjoy each day when you just need a little break and some mama's time out. Of course, I need to start doing more of that myself. I haven't had a chance. I've been trying to work and get my get this uh, show promoted, and it's been pretty challenging with uh, the two boys and them being sick this week. So let's see. I also wanted to talk to you about. Uh, if you have any future show ideas, um, topics, listener and host suggestions, uh, you can send your comments to 602-457-2761, or you can leave a message here if you're logged in in the comments section. And um, you know some of the future topics that I hope to share discussions about could be discipline and spanking versus timeouts, breastfeeding versus bottle feeding, and any other you know topics like raising boys, raising girls, whatever you know you feel that you need to talk about or would like to talk about or or uh, get some advice on uh, or just vent about. Uh, so anyway, today's Sunday um, is the fun trivia mix. So the questions are for fun. And let's see, it looks like I have a caller on the line, so let's see what if I can get them on here. If I can remember how to do this. Um, what is going on? Okay, I think I think I got it. Hello. Hello? You got me? Yes. Yes. Your name? Pam. Sergeant. Hi, Pam. Oh hi. Nice yeah. to talk to you. <laughs> nice to talk to you. How are you doing? I tried calling in on my Skype phone, and it wasn't showing up for some reason. Oh, no. Yeah, I saw, like, zero, zero something, and I thought, that doesn't look like a phone number. Oh, no, so, that's, that's my Skype. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Oh, so that so that is a real phone number, then. That is a real phone number. That's that's what happens oh. when when the, the number is blocked or it doesn't have a... Well, you see, now I have a a three one three number. It okay. is an American number, but because it's a com- calling from a computer, it comes up zero 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 zero. Oh, see, I, I have I have Skype, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. <laughs> so <laughs> it's something I need to get familiar more familiar with because I saw zero 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 for the area code, and I thought I don't think mm-hmm. that's a real number. <laughs> so I well, didn't that know is something I... good for your for your listeners to know. If you yeah, see zero 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 on your phone, on your phone, it is a computer calling. Could be okay. Skype, or yeah. it could be one of those telemarketer computers. <laughs> yeah. So, have you finished your holiday shopping and prepared for Christmas yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I started. I that's, so. something, that's something I'm supposed to be doing, actually. But of course, I have my mama's time out, but I have my show time, so my husband's constantly like. What are you doing? Why are you doing all this? I'm like, because I need a break. I need to do my own thing. You know, all week long I'm with the kids, so mm-hmm. I, it's just something I need. And I, I just feel like, you know, I'm surprised there's not more moms calling in yet. I don't know what other, what else I need to do to promote this, but uh, I think, you know, every every mom needs a break. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, and sure, we have our family and our friends to talk to, but sometimes it's good to get, you know, input from somebody else that you haven't met and, you know, it's a third party that doesn't really know, you know, everything that's going on. Yes, somebody who doesn't always have to agree with you. 
Right, right. You know, and it's and it's a good way, you know, there's the message boards and all that online, but, you know, you don't really get to get to know the people that you chat with in the message boards, and it's just kind of so superficial to me. That's another reason I have this show. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, do you participate in any of the message boards online? And um, I try to. Yeah. I try to. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard sometimes to keep up with a lot of them, too. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I'm always working. Yeah, uh, I know. That's the thing. Work at home, Mom, and yeah. and uh, that's supposed to mean you have more time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to, but it, it's not true. A lot of people have a wrong interpretation of what it's like to be at home. It's not any easier, that's for sure, than, than teaching when I was teaching. I, sometimes I feel like I had it easier. But <laughs> hmm so I, I got to check out your site last week, and it was a really nice site that you have. Um, well, thank you. And I tried to, uh, I think, download the one of the free e-books that you have there, and I had some problems doing that. Maybe I wasn't doing something right. Oh. Maybe you want to want to talk about that? And oh, the free e-books or the yeah. previews? Uh, I think you, you said there was a free e-book available. I well, there is. Up there right now. Yeah, there is a free book e avail- book available if you buy one of the books. Oh, I see. That's how it works. Because <laughs> I was trying to figure that out because I think you have a link to free stuff. But yeah, I do I have did. free stuff. I have uh, three songs that come with my first book, Mother's Survival Kit, that you can oh. download. There's a lullaby and a Just for Fun Kids song. Um, uh-huh. All about wanting to be a train when you grow up. Oh. <laughs> Did you? Do you sing? Did you compose? Yeah, them yeah. I, oh, I, wow. I uh, composed the music. I orchestrated it, and I sing on it. Wow, you're talented. <laughs> well, thank you. You write, you sing. That's really talented. I'm impressed. Thanks. I wish I could do that. Oh, I Let's see. We have that. another uh, chatter here. Let's see how Adam is doing. So uh, I don't know if you've had a chance um, to check out the trivia games, but they're pretty fun if you go to our trivia games. No, I, I just noticed that when you were talking about it. Yeah, it's pretty cool because uh, there's I have it set up for mixed trivia on Sundays and celebrity trivia on Mondays, general knowledge trivia on Tuesdays, and uh, general knowledge trivia on Wednesdays, and it gets harder as, as you go through. Thursdays, it's uh, general knowledge, and that's more difficult than the previous two. And then mm-hmm. Fridays, you do movie trivia, and Saturdays, animal trivia. Cool. So it might be fun to check out. And we can kind of compete there for fun bucks, and then you get to pick out fun prizes. So it's nothing tangible, really, but it's just kind of for fun stuff. Just said the magic word. Prizes. <laughs> Prizes, yeah. I like that. <laughs> what was that? Prizes, we love those. Yeah, so anything for fun, and people like having fun in prizes, I know I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like to see how I do on the trivia, too, because sometimes my brain feels that it's trying to mush when I'm at home all day long with the kids and you're talking kid talk all day. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought of one way to uh, to help promote... Uh-huh. Your show. I could uh, post some of your shows on my blog. Well, that would be really great. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Well, the, um, the one that is attached to my author site is strictly the that blog is strictly for kids and it's stories and and uh, and uh, parenting advice and that sort of thing. So it would uh-huh. fit perfectly in with there. I'll put my own show stuff on there too, but. Okay. You know. Yeah, that sounds good. I appreciate it. And if you have an RSS feed for your blog, um, I can add it to the Mama's Time Out um, social network. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Have you joined that yet? It's a, no, you know, I another, haven't. I have another place for us to meet online. You know, for the people who like the message board, the message board contact. <laughs> I am in so many networking groups right now. It's insane and I don't get to go to half of them yeah, yeah. well that's kind of why I, I uh, have my own so I'm trying to prioritize my own <laughs> mm-hmm. 
so that might might be one idea for you. But I mean, it's good to network with other people, and you know, because growing your own network is challenging. I mean, when there's already established ones, sometimes that's easier. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to have your own as well. So you and said you were of, a teacher. Yeah, I, I used to teach. Uh, my last age group I taught were second and third graders. Mm-hmm. So. It was, it was a lot of fun, except for, you know, once I got pregnant, I uh, was about six months pregnant. It wasn't that much fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess it wasn't. Yeah, so I decided to give it up and stay home. And I, I always kind of wanted to just be a stay-at-home mom. My mom stayed home with us, so. Yeah. It was, it was I always fun. wanted to be a teacher, a music teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, but... that's not something you can't still go back and do. Well, let me see. Now, I was 19 when I um, got pregnant with my first one. Uh-huh. I had just got out of, of high school. I was going to, uh, you know, I did half of my grade 13. I was going to take a year off, take a break, work some, work a bit, and then go right back at it. And I was going to university. Uh huh. And then I got pregnant. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah, sometimes life gets in the way. <laughs> and got married, so. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, and then I had three more kids. So <laughs> yeah, so I, had, kind of... I might have the time sometime yeah. in the near future, but I definitely don't have the money. Not with yeah. four teenagers in the house. Yeah, well, yeah, you've got your hands full there now. Well, I I'm amazed that you're able to you know find the time to write books. I like to write myself, and I just can't seem to find the time to really think about, you know, use my mm-hmm. creative side. I used to write poetry and and I did write like a children's story at one time and I just feel like my creative side just is kind of put on the back burners right now. It's, you know, disappeared or something. Mm-hmm. I'm having just writer's block or something. And that, yeah, I know. You know what? When I, I thought that when I had kids, my imagination just atrophied, just totally left me. Yeah. Until I started just compiling all the crafts that I I did with the kids, and I'm going, whoa, wait a minute, uh-huh. I have stuff already here that I can use. Yeah. I don't have to rack my brain trying to come up with more and more new stuff. I already created stuff. <laughs> right. So, and I, right. you know what? I get the kids to help me out. Yeah. Well, yeah, my son helps, you know, he'll, he's three and a half, and he'll help. Oh, with hold on a minute. Uh-huh. Hey, can you please keep that down? I'm on the phone. Sure. <laughs> a mama break. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can't control what your kids do when you get on the phone, that's, that's for sure. That's why I'm kind of starting out having this show on a weekend when my husband's home to help with the kids. And I'm hoping to eventually at least have one show during the week, you know, to help the stay-at-home moms like myself, you know, have somebody to talk to and get some support. But uh, mm-hmm. right now I just want to make sure I have somebody to keep an eye on the kids <laughs> <laughs> before they tear the house apart. Even yeah. though my son does it for the most, he, he still tears the house apart even though we're here. So I don't know. His toys are always all over the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I gave up having a having a clean house. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's impossible, especially when you're when they're this age. You know, we keep wondering when it's going to get better and, you know, when he's going to get out of this stage, but maybe it doesn't. <laughs> well, it's uh, well, it's a matter of training. Yeah. Training them to, to do for themselves. Like, my, my four kids, they help out with the chores. Of course, yeah. they don't always enjoy it, and <laughs> they get very upset with me. But right. uh, they do help out. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, that's good that you got them trained. Get oh, yeah. Well, started I started, young? Yeah. I started when they were about uh, three and four years old. Just yeah. little things. You know, uh-huh. pick up pick up things in your room. If yeah. You, if you use a toy, put it back before you get another one. Right. And it takes, it takes a while to get them... Get them going yeah, on. You need to get him on that one, putting it back, and then get another one because he'll take blocks out and leave them all over the house. Then he'll go mm-hmm. take out, you know, his cars and leave those all over the house. So we're like, when is he going to grow out of this? 
Another idea that I got from um, Sidetracked Home Executives, uh-huh. um, which is a really great book. Uh, uh-huh. Peggy Young and I can't remember the names of the authors, but they're really, really, they really understand us. <laughs> oh, wow. And you know, so, so it was a mother, a mother or a mothers that wrote the book. Yeah. Um, yeah. About how to get your kids to be more organized. Or? Well, it's uh, that's part of it. It's uh, also about getting yourself organized. Because, yeah. well, their their philosophy is there are he's there there are home executives and they're born organized. Right. And then there's the sidetracked home executive she's who are would love to be organized. But uh-huh. you know, just can't. See yeah, that's no that's me. Because yeah. I used to be really organized before I was married. Yeah, I think kids yeah. do that to you. Yeah, <laughs> and even now, I, before kids for sure. But once I have kids, I just feel like a mess. I, I mean, I am yeah. not as organized as I used to be. I have piles of clothes that I still need to go through. I mean, I just can't believe <laughs> my husband's like ready to throw my stuff out. <laughs> Well, one of the ideas that they had, um, especially as you kids start to get older, is to have uh, a box that you label um, a silent butler. And through uh-huh. the week, you just, anything that they don't put away goes into the silent butler. And at the end of the week, they get to buy it back from you, uh-huh. either with chores or whatever happens to be, you know, whatever works for you guys. Yeah, that sounds like a neat idea. It sounds like an interesting book. I'll have to check it out. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second, and I'll I'll get the information. Okay. You. So I'm talking with Pam Sargent. Um, she also wrote some books and uh, does songs and music for children. And we'll have a talk radio show coming up as well. So she... Um, has called in and chatted with me last week as well, and I'm enjoying our conversation here. If you would like to call in, feel free to give us a call and join in. Uh, actually, we're over our 30, going over our 30 minutes right now. Um, so, depending on the caller, uh, we might go over once in a while. But the call-in number is 646-595-4516. If you're interested in joining in or calling in in the future, um, you can come call and talk live and get to know some other moms and get some advice and share share your ideas, frustrations, struggles, triumphs about motherhood, parenting, uh, holiday stress, just about anything. And then go ahead and try our free daily trivia games. You can see the link under the links or click below in the box down there. Um, so be sure to join us and also join our social network group at the link to the bottom right as well where you can, uh, where did that page go? I just had open. Um, join the social ne- network that we have for our listeners and guest callers or guest listeners as well. I mean, you don't have to be a member of littlebytesnews.com or an actual member of Blog Talk Radio. If you're a listener and you're listening in as a guest, feel free to join our social network and um, get to meet other moms there. Let's see. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back. Oh, I okay. Play. I was just kind of talking a little bit just to uh, that's fill okay. In the time. So I uh, find it. I, I definitely need to read the book again because I have like over a thousand books in my living room here, and I cannot for the life of me figure out where I put the thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, but it was called Sidetrack Home Executives. Sidetracked Home Executives, and it's mm-hmm. by a sister uh, co-writers. Uh, mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure that one's name is 
Penny Young. Penny and Patty. Penny or Patty Young. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it is really a must-read. It's a very good book. They also have um, a website, sidetrackhomeexecutives.org, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll have to definitely check that out. I can't believe all the sites and resources there are online these days. I I have stumbled upon, and I really need to start, you know, tracking myself better that way because otherwise my bookmarks on my browser are just getting out of control. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So do you stumble upon? No, I don't, not yet. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's uh, you share you share uh, sites that you find that are you know cool and and it's kind of like a social network for for bookmarks in a way. Oh yeah, it's like Twitter yeah. for podcasters. Yeah. Oh really? I, yeah, I haven't I haven't even checked into that yet. I've heard about it and I haven't done it or checked into it. Yeah, I mean, of course. Neither have I, but I've heard about it. <laughs> yeah. So you have your talk show coming up, right? When does that start? That's uh, starting January fifth. Uh, it's a Saturday, 1 p.m. Oh, okay. I'll have to check it out for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm planning to take a little break um, during the holidays, so ne- the next couple of weeks I won't be doing my show, but I'll be back, I believe, on January 6th. Mm-hmm. So. Perfect. Well, I'm going to be having... I, I, I've i booked my first guest. Oh, really? Uh, who's who's going to be? Uh, Kim Much Emerson, who uh-huh. is an author. And uh, she's very big in the secrets of prosperity, and she's yeah. doing she's doing a series of um, inspirational uh, CDs for children. Oh, wow! Yeah, so it's, this is going to be really exciting. Um, actually, uh-huh. uh, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to uh, log in to listen to that. So that will be coming up in January, on January 5th at 1, you said? Yep. Uh, what time zone will That's that be? Eastern, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, yep. <laughs> gotta, Eastern. Yeah, you got to, when when you're online, you really have to specify that, don't you? Yeah, because I'm I'm mountain, so in Arizona, I'm in Arizona, and they don't have daylight savings, so I get so confused with everybody that has daylight savings. <laughs> and you're, you're in Canada? I am all the way up in the frozen north. Which actually looks frozen today. Yeah, my son wants to come in. <laughs> my time's up almost here. Actually, I'm going overtime, so mm. I probably will have to let you go and see what he wants. Oh yeah, you're about seven. Before he gets in trouble. <laughs> well, it's nice talking to you. What's your name again? My name is Patty. Actually, I right. To share that with you. And uh, I well, maybe I did in the beginning of the show. Yes, I and I have my sites are littlebitesnews dot com and giftpartysuppliesandmore.com, dot com, and then I have mm-hmm. a work at home business directory at wahbusinessdirectory dot com. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah. So How much is that to get into? If you want to check them out, uh, it's pretty inexpensive advertising. I I have uh, advertising starting as low as ten dollars a month. So. Well, that's pretty. And good. then there's also information about a way to get um, advertising for free. So you get paid um, for having website traffic with no clicks on your site. So it's a new uh, program coming up where, uh, you know, now that we're in the audio age on the Internet with uh, podcasting and and this blog talk radio, they have uh, this new program coming up where it's going to start in February where uh, big companies like Taco Bell and Burger King will start paying for ads on your site. Um, that don't require clicks, so you get paid just for people who visit your site. And um, oh. they uh, they uh, pay, play a five-second audio commercial. So oh, that's pretty cool. When, they, when people go to your site, and then you get paid for you know for having that ad on your site. Yeah. So oh, you might want to check it out as you know as a way to kind of help keep mm-hmm. your sites going. That's Do you have an affiliate idea. program yet? Uh, well, you can go to uh, the link on my site at whbusinessdirectory.com, mm-hmm. and it's right on the main page. You can click from there because I don't have it, in, you know, in front of me what exactly and how you do it, but it's all explained on my site, and you can go from there cool. to uh, 
to get more information on it, and it's free to sign up for right now because they're trying to get as many uh, uh, business owners and webmasters to join the program right now. Cool. So you might want to check it out and get in on it because it starts in February. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, for other work-at-home moms out there listening, you might want to check that out too. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Anyway, okay, well, I appreciate nice. you calling in, Pam, and I'm glad we had another chance to uh, talk instead of chat this time. Uh, either way is fine with me, though. Whatever is well, you're welcome to, to call in my show anytime once I get it started. Yeah, I will. In fact, I very I'll much see. would welcome it. I'm, I, um, I was actually looking for a partner in the education field. <laughs> oh, okay, great. And I'll post. So yeah. you're more than welcome to be a, a, a guest speaker anytime you're available. Yeah, you too. <laughs> you too, because I think it is a lot easier if you have a, a co-host and someone and to talk to. You know, yes, it does. Yeah, at least yeah. at least one caller calling in. Otherwise, it gets to be a little challenging to keep the keep the show going. But especially when it's a new show and you don't have you know all the callers and listeners yet. Mm-hmm. So, so that'll be great. So okay. What you did is probably a, a good method of a uh, of a. Uh, doing also is just, you know, getting to know other hosts before you start your show. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't do that myself. So I guess you kind of learn as you go along, but... Oh, yeah. You know, that's, you know, that's so happened to be, you know, it's a good idea to do that, I think. I so. have a ton of resources for you for next show. For, uh, okay, home sounds around. great. So I'm I'll looking forward to sharing that with you. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, and you can feel free to contact me anytime uh, through the voicemail number um, or leave a, um, a comment here. And the voicemail number that you can call is 602-457-2761 for our listeners and, um, and leave a message here at Blog Talk Radio for me and I'll get back to you there if you have anything that you want to talk to me about before the next show. <laughs> and the next show is? It is a uh, good, good reminder. Uh, January 6th, so it'll be at 2.30 on January 6th. Great. See you okay, then. well, thanks Thanks again for uh, for participating and calling in, and I look forward to talking to you talking to you on the next show and uh, calling in to your show okay, on great. January 5th. <laughs> okay. We'll okay, talk, to you, talk to you later, Pam. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so that's the end of our show for today. We did go a little bit over. I was enjoying my conversation with Pam Sargent, whose uh, new talk show will be coming up in January, on January 5th. So uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, hopefully you get all your shopping done, and you can join our parent resource newsletter for free offers and more. You can um, use the drop-down box at littlebitesnews.com to sign up or go to the newsletter subscription page at littlebitesnews.com slash newsletter slash newsletter subscription form dot html. So I hope you enjoyed today's show and uh, hopefully you'll want to call in and have some mama's time out and talk with us. So send your comments and suggestions to 602-457-2761 or leave a message here and make sure you bookmark us and add us to your friends if you are a member at Blog Talk Radio. Have a Merry Christmas and a safe holiday, and I'll be back in mid-January, well, early January, I should say, on January 6th at 2.30. Talk to you later.